Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so Charles Oliveira ready to get back to it right now. He has evolved his game into the most dangerous lightweight in the world. Maybe the most dangerous pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world right now here in modern-day mixed martial arts. The one-two punch is true. Early round action here, Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high, in constant pursuit of his foot. Yeah, classic Muay Thai, man. Lifting that knee to draw to reaction, and if you give him too big a reaction, he will start you with that beautiful left hook. The guy has, has tremendous power, and he sets up his strikes like not many guys in the UFC, or not many people in the UFC. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the Smelly Octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Nice blocks. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Oh! oh. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that? Or do I win that not, last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. All right, full guard here. Watch our bar here. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Good is that? that is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. All right, feet on the hips here. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move them off, and you got to cover your feet. Ooh, Paul pops as he gets out again. They respect his ability to escape, and he showed how well versed he is in submission defense. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Pimblet's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to... All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Another big body kick lands. Effective jab there by Oliveira. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this one. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. So the head strike starting to pile up. Now. 
Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempts. You can't set up another submission. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Submission there, but he escapes and gets back to his feet. Very nice. Shot. Take down for Charles right here. Uh -oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Let's go. Let's get that takedown. Nice crack there. Classify that as all right. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet! Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful. You ready to fight? Ready? Do it. Round three of a possible five. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Oh, oh my goodness, what a right hand. Oh. And there it is. Oh, my God. What an absolutely crazy knockout here. And that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.